Hi everybody, Ken here again. It's been a while since I did a video, pretty long time, and I figured, well, I guess I better post one up for you guys, especially since, look what I got in the mail today. I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys. I got another lantern here that I ordered, and uh, it came today. It's a really huge box. We're going to take a look at it, see what we got here probably going to have a lot of packing material inside of it, I'm guessing, because uh, I don't think the lantern is all that big, but they really did a nice packaging job on it. I'm really surprised to see this like that. Alright, so you know, the flaps open, it's full, full of packing material as expected, a lot of bubble wrap, and uh... I might be able to just take it out of here and get rid of this box here for you guys. Wow. What I got here is a nautical type of lantern. In fact, it is actually a Viking lantern. Now, I don't really know a whole lot about these. Uh, from what I gather, yeah, there's some, some kerosene in it. It smells like kerosene. <laughs> Maybe I ought to take a piece of this bubble wrap to protect my pool table here <laughs> because it does look like it's a little drippy inside there. Okay, but um, yeah, from what I gather, these were made in like the 1930s or so. Of course, there's a lot of reproductions of these things out there, and I'm I'm really I'm really not certain about it. I mean, if anybody could comment and give me some ideas, what it really is. I mean, I know it's a cargo lantern, I I, I assume, but uh, I don't know if it's a reproduction or if it's authentic. But the price was right, and I, and I couldn't refuse. I just I just had to get it for my collection. Uh, it looks like it's got a lot of packing on the inside around the globe. I don't think the globe is original from what I've seen in the pictures. However, it is there. Uh, it'll work just fine for the time being. Uh, it's soaked. This is this is wet. Uh, you can see it. Paper's all wet there. Yeah, and it smells. It smells like kerosene. So I guess they did have this burning at one time. But say okay it's not broken it's good it's nice and uh, let's see how it fits oh I see there's actually a little bit of there's a little screw there that I guess keeps tension on it after you put it in the, the gallery there Oop, and of course that little screw just fell out of there but that's okay um so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this this whole, I know the whole assembly slides out like that. I don't know if there's actually kerosene still in there or not. And I don't hear anything sloshing around. But it's kind of cool. Really heavy. It's a really heavy piece. Uh, I assume it's all brass and except the glass there. But uh, let me give it a try again. Let me see if I can get the screw threaded in there. And let me see if I can get the chimney on there. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it sets in there. Yeah, I don't want to put it too tight. Just want to snug it down a little bit. And then I suppose this just drops in. Like that. Wow, and there we have it. Let me give you a close-up of it. It's a beauty. And it says, I think it's supposed to say Viking on the top. Now I've seen these in two different manufacturers. I've seen them in Viking and I've also seen them uh, branded Neptune. This particular one is a Viking. It's really heavy. It's about weighs about four or five pounds, I'm guessing. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, get it cleaned up for you guys and then uh, we'll do a demo of how she looks when she's lit. Alright guys, what I did is I took it all apart. I cleaned most of the oil out of it. It's still got a little bit of oil in it, but I don't know. I'm really anxious to try this thing. I want to light this up. I want to see what it looks like. And uh, I actually took off the burner and there, there actually is a quite a bit of puddle of oil or kerosene or something already in it. So I, I think we can light it up. Let's, let's give it a try. Yeah, the wick, uh, the wick is going to need to be trimmed. Yeah, most definitely. It's got a bad, it's got a bad point on it. But, uh, real quick, you know what I'm going to do? Just going to put it in there like that. I can't really turn it up any higher because it's really going to start smoking with that, that wick the way it is. But let's just give her a, let's just give her a, look here ah, not bad very uh, Pirates of the Caribbean ish huh? maybe pretty cool yeah we'll get that wick trimmed up a little better cranked I'm sure it's going to be quite a lot brighter than that I'm just afraid to crank it up. It's actually got a, a bad spike on the left hand side. It's got like a little tip on it. I should have I should have straightened that out better than that. But anyway. Now here's the question to you guys. Should I leave the patina? It's got a pretty nice patina on it, and it is brass. Or should I go for it and shine it up and make it look like brand new again like really shiny clean I mean I'm not sure I'm not really sure about the age of this I'm not really sure uh, if I should go ahead and do that let me know in the comments let me know what you think and uh, thanks for watching hope to see you soon